I'm excited. Excited! Excited! I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Roxy and today we're gonna talk about something different, something I really care about, so don't click away. We're gonna talk about saving the world and climate change. <laughs> but what is climate change? As the term suggests, it's a change in global or regional climate patterns. It's when the climate changes, the weather changes, and this affects negatively people, animals, the ecosystem in general. For example, if the temperature rises, then the ice melts, the ocean levels go up, and then there are floodings, and then people lose their houses. Or the temperature rises, so the smog is worse, and it's bad for people, for the animals, for the environment. Or the weather gets more extreme, we have more hurricanes, cyclones, and stuff like that, and this is bad <laughs> for people but also for the animals because their natural habitats change and then they can even face extinction. And now you're gonna say, but Roxy, I cannot do anything about it. It's not true! There are things that we can do. Did you know that Generation Z is the largest in history? So if we all get together, we can change the world. How? There is this campaign called Little by Little, like the shirt. And this is in support of the UN 17 Sustainable Development Goals. Basically, the United Nations have 17 goals they want to tackle and I volunteer to help with number 13, climate change. Because basically they're saying that these problems are really, really big, but they're not going to be solved by a big, gigantic, uh, magical action. We are going to solve this if we all decide to do little things, small actions every single day. Every one of us. <laughs> In this video, I'm going to tell you three six second actions, actions that you can do in six seconds. Can you believe this? That are gonna help save the world. And let's start. Don't let anybody tell you that you cannot do anything about this stuff. One, tweet, email, call, send a letter to your representatives, to your mayor, your city, your state, your region, your prime minister, president, king, queen. I don't know what your political system is, but contact them. These people are humans, you can talk to them, send them an email, a letter, whatever you want, spam them. Their job is to work for you, so let them know what you want and make sure they're doing something. Two, when you can, leave the car at home and take a walk or use a bike.